hey, we're at CES 2021, and so are you. And it looks like Intel has just teased its Rocket Lake S CPU at CES 2021, and the company shared some gaming benchmark sessions. Now, Rocket Lake will be the company's first PCIe 4.0 mainstream platform and will represent a major step from the countless iterations of Skylake. Now, according to our sources, the platform is expected to launch in March of this year, but before that, we have some gaming performance numbers to share. Now, Rocket Lake CPU, the Core i9-11900K officially, is an absolute beast. It is, in itself, an 8-core affair, but not only does it go toe-to-toe -to -toe with AMD's latest generation Ryzen 9 5900X 12-core gaming processor and gaming performance, but according to this, it actually beats it. But as with all first-party benchmarks, we urge you to take these with a grain of salt until independent testing is out, but what is happening here isn't surprising. Now, gaming is highly clock rate dependent, and in terms of performance and Intel's 14 nanometer being now extremely mature platform, it can clock upwards of 5.3 gigahertz. The gaming benchmarks, which Intel covered, include Total War Three Kingdoms, Gears of War 5, Metro Exodus, Cyberpunk 2077, Watch Dogs Legions, Far Cry New Dawn, and Assassin's Assassin's Creed Valhalla. All games were tested at the 1080p graphics settings to truly test the capabilities of the CPU and make it the primary bottleneck. The difference in performance ranges from 8 in Total War to 2% in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. On an aggregate basis, Intel Core's i9-11900K is 4.4% faster than AMD's Ryzen 9 5900X, and the company then proceeded to show the generational leap that Rocket Lake brings when compared to the older generations of Core i9-10900K processor, which is still based on the Skylake architecture. Now, while the former flagship scores 129 frames per second in Hitman 3, the Core i9-11900K scores upwards to 140 frames per second. On an average basis, the difference in gaming generation over generation is roughly 7% according to Intel's own test. Now the company also then proceeded to show off a demo of Cyberpunk 2077 running on the Rocket Lake S platform while coupled with an NVIDIA RTX 3080. While no performance numbers were given, the game seemed to be running fairly smooth on the stream. Now if you watched the previous video that we had up that showed this actually playing, our gentleman Usman was recording it and OBS caused some skipping, so it wasn't actually in the gameplay. So if you saw that there and had comments on it, you know it is what it is. But it is important to note here that Rocket Lake S features direct access to the SSD and the GPU using PCIe 4.0, which is shaping up to be an incredibly important feature for the future of gaming. Now games are already designed with asset streaming tech and this will be a must-have feature for high-end gamers. And for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.